Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's daily NEET PG full scale grant test discussion. I hope you all have downloaded the Incas app and taken a test in the morning, daily test of 100 MCQs. And at least out of this 100, if you scored 60 out of 100, great performance. If you have scored 70 out of 100, I guarantee you, you are going to be in the top 10,000 ranks. If you scored 75, you are going to be in the top 100. So that is what I can guarantee you. If you guys take the test, know where you are going wrong, what is your strength, where is your weakness, etc., etc. And thank you very much for joining this evening session. I'm sorry, yesterday and day before yesterday, I could not. Uh, but sometimes, even teacher also will have few absent seizures. Srijana, Sridam, Dr. Bukhari, and many more who are all online. So let's make the great beginning, doctor. Please drop a line to all your friends in the WhatsApp, Telegram, everywhere that the daily live NEET PG grant test discussion with Dr. Murli Bhardwaj has started. Now let us see how are we going to answer this top 100 questions. Keep punching your answers also, doctor. So that way you'll be very active. And uh, let me honestly tell you, in these 40 days, we have started on March 5th to April 15th. Totally, you have 40 days. In 40 days, in these 40 grantors, we discuss. 40 grantors, we discuss 4,000 most expected shoot short MCQs in the NEET PG. So that is the reason every day take the test and join the discussion, which is not a feature of Cotard syndrome. There is nihilistic delusion, old age, severe depression. There are all the features. It is typically found in the middle-aged and the older people. They suffer from depression. They hold the belief that they are dead. They do not exist. Their body is putrefying. They lost their internal organs, blood, everything. And uh, they often deny that they exist at all. That is the central theme of the Cotard's syndrome, which is delusion of negation, nihilistic delusion, which is a cannabinoid, marijuana, hashish, they're all cannabinoids. First rank the symptoms of schizophrenia. Let me once more vouch you, doctor. Sure, short. MCQ. Ditto, ditto, same MCQ tomorrow, need PG, it will come. And you will remember Dr. Murli Bharadwaj in the exam form. I can guarantee you. So, doctor, delusional perception, semantic possibility, thought echo. Thought withdrawal, thought insertion, thought broadcasting, delusional perception, thought ego, auditory hallucinations, they're all considered to be the first rank symptoms in the schizophrenia, is what you need to remember. Electroconvulsive therapy is the first line treatment in which situation? Severe depression with suicidal tendency. Severe mania, acute schizophrenia, 
they are all considered to be the indications. What I have found is, is a non-amphetamine stimulant. Where is it used as a treatment? In narcolepsy. Modafinil is a vigilance promoting drug is what you need to remember. So whenever there is any wakefulness disorder of narcolepsy, shift work sleep disorder, they are all considered to be the indications. In the abscess cavities where there is pus, what is the radionuclide duct? Gallium 67. Skull X-ray may calcification is a feature. As what you can see here is the feature of meningioma. Meningioma is what you should remember. So once more you should know. What are the causes of the normal intracranial calcification? Pineal gland, dura, vascular like carotid arteries and basal ganglia. Normally only they may calcify, whereas craniopharyngioma, meningioma, AV malformation, aneurysms, they are all abnormal pathological conditions that show the calcification is what you should remember. Calcification of the heart wall is a classical suggestive feature of carcinoid syndrome. How much pericardial effusion echocardiography can detect? As little as 15 ml. In ASD, what happens in ASD? Left atrial blood goes into right atrium, increasing the flow into the right atrium. That all will go into pulmonary artery. That's the reason you have pulmonary plethora. Whenever there is a left to right shunt because of the ASD, is what you should remember. 43 year old, 5 centimeter lung, 3 centimeter node, right supraclavicular fossa. What is the AJCC classification? This T3, N3, M0. So you should know what is meant by T1, T1A, T1B, T1C. What is T3 and T4? Everything, anything about breast cancer. AJCC staging. Tonight only you have to go back and do the revision doctor. Papillary carcinoma of thyroid. It is not unifocal. It is multifocal. It can go to the cervical lymph node. It requires a total thyroidectomy. Is what you should remember. There is peptic ulcer disease, anthral gastritis. What do you understand? H. pylori. H. pylori requires one thin starry stain is what you should remember. So good to see Surjana, Sriram, Bukhari and many more who are all online. Good doc. See doctor. Take it as the Murali Bharadwaj law for neat PG preparation. One question definitely examiner is going to ask you about Covenant's classification. You should know how to number the different segments. It can be image based MCQ. If you go through the previous AIMS question papers. So what is this Covenant segmentation? It's based upon it is the hepatic vein and portal vein. The portal vein which lead to the center of the individual segments. The branches of the portal vein, they are considered with the landmarks for coenoid. I leave all this literature, doctor. Remember, in the Incas app, don't forget to download Incas app. If you download Incas app, you have courses. Three minute videos, you too can record a video and your dashboard. So in the courses, if you go, you have quiz courses, video courses, flashcard courses. In the quiz courses, you have daily 40 grand tests for NEED PG. 
So every day, one new 100 MCQ quiz is hosted. When you wake up in the morning, take the quiz. And after you solve the quiz, it will move into the history. There you have the PowerPoint of this particular test. All these PPT slides are all made available there for you to do revision. And after this class is over, even this video will become uploaded there. So that way, but still I want all of you to come in the evening at six o'clock on the YouTube so that it will be a live online interactive session. So it will be very interesting. But if you do this for the next 40 days before the exam, nobody will stop you from becoming a topper. I can promise you. There's a history of diarrhea, several years, recent onset, pruritis. When will you get pruritis, doctor? If there is increased bile salts that lead to pruritis. Increased alkaline phosphatase is also there. Normal is GOT, GPT, no gallstones. What is your diagnosis? Sclerosing cholangitis. Because history of diarrhea, no. Diarrhea means you should think of inflammatory bubble disease. Renal calculus. Why do you see it whenever you do the massive bubble resection? Typically, when you do massive bubble resection, that increases the oxalate absorption in the gut. That lead to the stones. Distended abdomen in the intestinal obstruction. It is all that swallowed air which is responsible. Carcinoid is the most common neoplasm of the appendix. Solitary rectal ulcer. 20% are multiple recent rectal prolapse is a cause. You can do a digital reposition and uh, usually anterior rectal wall. Anterior rectal wall. Bulna nahi. Solitary rectal ulcer, one of the favorite questions of the exam. Once more, on the Incas Learning Gap, Doctor, there is a course called 2000 HD videos. Every video is about 20 minutes short video. And there are nearly about 80 videos on surgery. And we have nicely ironed out all the high yield topics in those 80 videos. So take every chance to subscribe to 2000 HD videos on Incas app. A patient is operated for direct inguinal hernia. Now has an anesthesia at the root of the penis. And also adjacent part of the scrotum. Now what nerve is most likely to be injured? It is a genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve that innervates the area described. The narrowest part of the ureter ductus. It is the ureterovesical junction. So many times this question has been asked. And uh, the point where the ureter enters the bladder, ureterovesical junction. That is the narrowest part of the ureter is what I want to underscore. You are doing a retropubic prostatectomy. What is the most troublesome source of bleeding duct? It is the dorsal venous complex is what you should remember. Albar urethral rupture versus membranous urethra. Oh my God. This is the favorite topic of the examiner doctor. Let me tell you. Mark it as my word. Tomorrow's exam, definitely examiner is going to ask bulbar urethra, membranous urethra. You should know what is a typical clinical vignette examiner is going to give you. What is that single line clue, the buzzword you need to catch in that clinical vignette going to be given by the examiner. A floating prostate on parietal examination should make you to think of posterior part of the urethra, that is 
membranous urethra, not the bulbar urethra, which is anterior urethra. There is anterior urethra, that is a bulbar urethra, whenever it ruptures, it leads to peritoneal hematoma, urine collection in the perineum. They are the important things that you need to remember. And also bleeding from urethra. Now one of the favorite questions of the examiner, ah, posterior urethra, membranous urethra. Even that also will lead to blood in the axon hiatus. There is a failure or difficulty in passing urine. There is an extra visitation of the urine into the scrotum, perineum and into the hand, abdominal wall. And often it is a consequence of a significant injury like a car coming and hitting. And on parietal examination, when membranous urethra is affected, floating prostate, floating prostate, prostate will start floating, which is characteristic feature. So always, what is the clinical trial? Pelvic fracture, blooded meatus, inability to void. That should make you to think of prostate or membranous. Urethral disruption is what you need to remember. So if you happen to do the um, imaging, then the rupture of membranous urethra with the intact urogenital diaphragm, then the extremization will extend into only the pelvis. Complete rupture of the membranous urethra with a disrupted urogenital diaphragm and injury to proximal bulbous, bulbar urethra also. Extravisation will enter into both pelvis and also into the perineum is what I want to underscore to all of you. 60 year old testicular tumor, you, what will you think doctor? You will think of only lymphoma. Persistent vomiting lead to secondary hyperaldosteronism. We discussed this many times. Aldosterone will make sodium retention, potassium loss into urine, and H plus loss into urine. That lead to the metabolic acidosis, elevated pH, hypokalemia, increased potassium in the urine. That is the combination that you come across. What are the most common? Origin of melanoma. It is a junctional melanocyte. It is the most common origin. The rule of the nine. Alexander Valesco ek salute maro. Once more. Burns. Calculation of the fluid requirement with burns. Without that, there is no question paper. 20 marks, Saiga surgery may, Usme, ek question burns may hota hai. So you have to definitely do a revision. Intern was doing a cannulation of the sadness. The sudden pain along the medial border of the foot. Probably there is an accidental ligation of the cephalous nerve, is what you need to. Remember. The most common organ injured in the blunt trauma abdomen would be the spleen because spleen is most unsupported. Just it is two ribs which are hanging around it. That's the reason splenic injury. What prints tumor? Erotic gland, facial nerve is in very close relation. Erotic body tumors. They can metastasize their neuroendocrine tumors from the neural crest. Preganglionic cells is what you need to remember. Anupama is asking, sir, will there be any postponement of exam? Oh my God. See, Dr. Anupama, WhatsApp, Telegram, these are all famous fake news spreading. Even if there is any postponement, kya farak padega? Already we are deep into the water. 
So there is a reason, don't worry, don't think, don't, you know, suddenly some uh, YouTube uh, video, somebody will come. Will there be postponement? If there is a postponement, what should be the strategy? Somebody will start uh, talking some gossip. Question paper ka pattern change ho gaya. What is it going to be? I mean, nowadays teachers have all become like a propaganda, TRP rating increase karne ke liye bakwas time pass. We don't have time for all that time pass. What is new in the new pattern of exam? Kya reta? Oh, he reta. Anda reta. Kya reta? Oh, he Superficial peroneal pouch contents kya hai? Greater petrosal naru kiska branch hai? Right? Same question, same topics, high yield areas will be there. How will it be different? Right? Uh, so that's the reason, doctor. Not only now, 20 years back also, fake news in the reading room. And uh, we, we are searching for a reason why we should not read today. <laughs> So that's the reason, don't worry about all that. Think that exam is going to be there on exactly same date as what is mentioned. And uh, last 30 days you read well also, doctor. There are, I have hundreds of examples of students who became toppers. Last 40 days, 30 days, when they have completely became U-turn. They took a U-turn in their preparation. So that's the point. Anupama says, thank you, sir. Please come online daily for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Why not, doctor? My life is only for you all guys. You are all my life. So, uh, I don't feel like going to sleep without meeting you guys. So, every day, don't forget, download Inkas app, take 100 MCQ mock test, full scale, and evening, we will have one, one and a half hour discussion, right? And identify 10, 15 topics that you want to uh, repair them, bus. That's all, you'll get to see. Agar seat nahi mile to mere naam Murli Bharadwaj nahi. I have been with two lakh medical students, doctors who are now top consultants. Some of them are professors, right? Almost two generations. So, they were all sitting like you while preparing for entrance. Same apprehensions. Even when we prepared, same apprehensions. Because life, unfortunately, for a medical student doctor, everybody else will not, nobody in the world will ever pass through the kind of treacherous situation as what we are. We are great and people expect us to become greater. Nothing less than that. That's the whole challenge. Round cell tumors, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, having sarcoma, neuroblastoma, etc. etc. The list you should know. The most radiosensitive tumor, this germinoma in ovary, seminoma in case of testis. What are the good and bad prognostic factors of neuroblastoma? Hyperdiploidy. Once more, ALL. Neuroblastoma, you should know the prognostic factors. Breast carcinoma, you should know prognostic factors. Commonest malignancy, renal transplant recipient will be skin cancer. Skin and lip, very common. Transfusion of the stored blood. There's a hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia because of the citrate in the blood. Citrate intoxication, the decrease of the 2, 3 DPG. IV soda bicarb is useful to for the forced alkaline diuresis like salicylate poisoning. Metabolic acidosis, hypercalcemia and hyperkalemia, not hypo. That's what you need to remember. So you should know everything, anything about hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, 
all these disrupted emias without that there is no question paper one month old male small red macule on the face and it remained static for few months it resolved at 5 years of age that is classically a infantile hemangioma is what you need to basically remember congenital tb it is a liver which is the site of the primary focus pseudocyanosis so there's a false belief that the patient is pregnant abdominal distension more common in young women irregular menstrual cycles that is pseudocyanosis lateral condylar fracture of the humerus it is a salt hands type 4 fracture open deduction internal fixation tardial nod palsy there all the features of the lateral condylar humeral condylar fracture my sign is ossificant you don't do active mobilization answer is a but in the medicine low dose irradiation passive stretching they all what you do a child is spinned around holding his hand by his father very common experience so he does not allow to touch his elbow what is the likely possibility it's called pulled elbow so when the pulled elbow is there so gently you can re reduce it you can do the reduction provided you are able to make a diagnosis of pulled elbow a lot of times the mom will be saying come on no for buying that car the kid will be saying no mama i want that car that is the time where pulled elbow will happen It is also called nurse maid elbow, baby sitter elbow. Is yes, what you need to remember. So why does it happen? It happens because the distal attachment of the annular ligament covering the radial head is weaker in the children. Galliazzi fracture. It is a fracture of the distal radius and dislocation of inferior radiolar joint dislocation. So radius is distal, radio large joint to be distal. How will you remember this? One of my student told me this morning. Simple hai sir. Distal bole to niche hai. Dislocation bhi niche hai. Dono bhi niche hai. Niche kya hota hai? Niche hota hai gallies. So galliazzi fracture होता है, gallies, gallies नीचे होता है. So that is the reason distal radio ulnar dislocation and distal fracture of the radius, distal radius is what you need to remember. Occult fracture of the neck of the femur. How do you diagnose? MRI. The sensitivity of the MRI for the fracture is almost hundred percent. Flexion, adduction, internal rotation. Posterior hip dislocation. Stability of the ankle joint is maintained by the deltoid ligament, anterior talofibular, posterior talofibular. All these ligaments. Deltoid is a strong, flat, triangular-shaped ligament on the medial aspect of the ankle. Is what you need to remember. So, what are the components of it? Anterior tibial talus, posterior tibial talus. Tibio calcaneal, tibio navicular. That's what you need to remember. Blount's disease is tibia vara. The lower leg to angle inward, inward. So resembling a bow leg, it's also called tibia vara. Gustilo Anderson's classification. Oh my God! I feel like crying to remember this. But if you take the AIMS question bank, doctor, past fifteen years, so many times this was asked. The series of remember, it is grade two. So what's for grade one, grade two, three, three A, three B, three C? Oh my God! 
బట్టి మారో బట్టి బట్టి మారో గస్టిలో అండ్ డిస్టెన్స్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఎక్ ఫోటో లేనో అవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మగ్గి దేర్ ఇస్ నో వే రిక రెంట్ డిస్లోకేషన్ ఇస్ వెరీ కామన్ విత్ షోల్డర్ జాయింట్ సింటిలేటింగ్ స్కోటోమా మిగ్రెయిన్ స్మోక్ స్టాక్ అపియరెన్స్ the smoke is evolving if you are doing the fluorescent angiography when central serous retinopathy is there is what you need to remember elevated epistural pressure as a cause of secondary glaucoma is seen with stooge weber orbital varices keratocavernous fistula not the postner schlossman syndrome so this is the episcleral venous congestion secondary to thyroid associated ophthalmopathy these are all the prominent episcleral vessels is what you are able to see in stooge weber orbital varices av fistulas acha bhaiya postner schlossman's syndrome kya hota hai it is glaucomatocyclitic crisis any unilateral recurrent inflammatory ocular hypertensive disease typically uveitis uveitic associated inflammation with acute rise of the intraocular pressure is postner schwarzman syndrome only for entrance yaad rakho baad mein bhul jao alters triangle all strangle kya hota hai kya hota hai cyclitis mein so whenever uveitis is there the keratic precipitates are all concentrated in this area called all strangle and uh, if keratic precipitates are outside the all strangle think of fuchs heterochromic keratocyclitis and herpetic kerato uveitis there are the conditions where it is outside the all strangle whereas in case of the granulomatous uveitis it is inside the all strangle that's a fundamental difference what strie where do you see typically in kerato conus you find the what strie so 50% of people with keratoconus they give it wax to get out of the fine stress lines within the cornea caused by the stretching and thinning of the cornea in keratoconus is what you have to remember juvenile retinoschis it is a splitting of the retinal layers at the nerve fiber layer is called juvenile retinoschis is what you need to remember So it is X-linked juvenile retinoschis section. There is a splitting of the nerve fiber layer of the retina in the macula. Refractive surgery, myopias, eczema laser is the one which is used. Paralytic splint versus non-paralytic squint. Once more, let me tell you, doctor, 10 MCQs, Aega, Kaha Se, Ophthalmologies. even in a 200 marks paper out of the 10 one question strabismus compulsory topic kal ke exam mein strabismus aayega aapko murli bharadwaj yaad aayega aur aaj ke is dhoop ka shaam aapko yaad aayega and that time you will smile in the exam are the day evening sir told me in the 40 grand test so once more let me tell you this 40 grand test march 5th to april 15th that i am discussing every day one paper 4000 mcqs maine pura filter 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 karke most essential sure shot aane wala topic se nikal ke aapko de raha hu till now you did not study also i don't care i can still make you the topper provided you promise me every day morning you will take the test every day evening you attend the discussion you decide 5 to 10 topics every day go back to the incas 
2000 HD video library and then do the revision of those topics. But that's a mantra to become a Vida. So, Doctor, primary deviation more than secondary is a feature which you see in the case of the non paralytic squint. Otherwise, diplopia or tigo, false projection, they're all seen in paralytic squint. And the primary deviation is always smaller than the secondary deviation because there is no excessive innervation in the fixating eye in strabismus. Pupil is constricted in case of Horner syndrome. Horner can't respond spring catara, vernal keratoconjunctivitis. conjunctivitis. They're all snowfill rich. Superior tarsus may large conjunctival papillae is what you need to remember. Positive fistula test. If there's a dead ear, you don't get any positive fistula test. Otherwise, any labyrinthine for fistula, hypermobile stapes, foot plate, or any fenestration surgery you have done for the mean ears, anything can lead to positive fistula test. So a false negative fistula sign is because of a dead labyrinth is what you need to remember. Radical mastoidectomy, modified radical mastoidectomy, all these things you should know, doctor. Can all up, can all wall up, can all wall down, everything about mastoidectomy, definitely one question will come. So, there is a lowering of the facial reach. There is a removal of middle ear mucosa and muscles. There is a removal of all ossicles except stapes foot plane. But the Eustachian tube. So if you look at the attic and the mastoid, they are exteriorized into the external auditory canal is what you need to remember. So I leave the literature for you. Many times we discuss very pyare bharatvasiyo cortical modified radical radical what is the difference between these three the simple mastoidectomy also called cortical mastoidectomy also called schwartz operation there is a excentration of all the accessible mastoid aid cells preserving the posterior meandal wall that is cortical that is done in the cortical mastoidectomy Modified radical may, there is a preservation of hearing. Whereas only radical mastoidectomy may, hearing is not preserved. That's the point you need to appreciate. The mastoid pip is not present at the birth. Only the mastoid antrum and periantral cells are present at birth. Infants and children, where is the infection involved, doctor? Maxillary sinus may. Abba, I am once more telling you, doctor, one tympanogram based image based MCQ, other neat PG may nahi hai to, mera naam nahi murli Bharadvaj. Right? So, you have to be 100% sure. And how to recognize it on the image based MCQ? That is also important. Chalo, let us become champions in this. This is called type AD. There is a high compliance or flaccidity, scarred ossicular disarticulation, loss of elasticity in tympanic membrane. You get the type AD. Will you recognize this? Yes, sir. Type AS, it is low compliance. Low compliance and stiff. Whenever ossicular fixation, tympanosclerosis, scarred thickened eardrum lead to type A. Type A hota hai normal tympanogram. Then type C, type C, any eustachian tube dysfunction. Tympanic membrane retraction. So that is type C. 
So if you look at the otitis media doctor, it will be type C because the drum is severely retracted in early effusion. It is moderately retracted in the later and ultimately once more it becomes slightly retracted <coughs> and become normal. So from type C to type A, that is the effect of otitis media. Then any glue ear, fluid filled ear, moderate fluid type B <coughs> is what you need to understand. Now, will you promise me that you'll go back, do a quick revision of the tympanogram and be ready to face the examiner in tomorrow's exam? Six-year-old child recurrent upper respiratory infection, mouth breathing, nasal obstruction, hearing impairment, Bology, Pandit Maharaj, management, kaise karoge? Bacho mein, nasal obstruction, mouth breathing should make you think of adenoids, adenoidectomy with a grommet insertion. Complete cleft palate with hard palate. In the complete cleft palate, the hard palate is totally separated from what? From the omer. So cleft palate is failure of fusion of the two palatine process. It may involve soft palate, hard and soft palate. Hard palate may be complete, nasal septum and omer bone are completely separated from palatine process or incomplete where the cleft of the hard palate remains attached to the nasal septum and omer. Tortus triad is a feature of nasopharyngeal carcinoma. What is the clinical trial doctor in Protest triad? Unilateral conductive deafness, secretory otitis media, ipsilateral earache, facial pain, trigeminal nerve, ipsilateral paralysis of the soft palate. This combination is called Protest triad, is what you need to remember. Vestibule is present. There is a vestibule in the nose, larynx, and inner ear. High frequency sound is given during audiometry in both situation. Wherever the patient is treated with gentamicin. So, high frequency hearing loss, low frequency hearing loss. You should know the differences. Aging, autotoxicity, there are the other causes other than the noise which lead to a high frequency hearing loss. Progesterone only pill, pop. It has to be taken same time. It can be used postnatally. It is preferred over combination pill in smokers. And the effect of it is mainly by making the endometrium to become thicker. Hostile, not by affecting ovulation. Down syndrome, nuchal translucency is a very sensitive market. Hormone replacement therapy. There's an increase in risk of breast cancer, increase in risk of stroke. You have to be very sure. Shoulder dystocia, macriboots, menua. So, in emergency, you will do fracture, clavicle, janavelis, venua. And how do you do internal rotation? Wood screw venua. And also you do Mac Roberts venua, suprapubic pressure, posturam delivery, episiotomy. Wherever room is there, you will open it up. Fetal blood loss. Which condition causes more fetal blood loss? Pass a premium. Streptomycin like aminoglycosides are strictly no, no, contraindicated in pregnancy. Bishop's score, kya hota hai, doctor? Station of the hand, cervical effacement, cervical dilatation. So position, consistency, effacement, dilatation, baby station. They are the part of the Bishop's score. You ought to be 100% sure. 
heart disease what are the strong indicators in pregnancy any diastolic murmur you have to worry systolic murmur can be a flow murmur and innocent any rise in jvp central cyanosis anything they are all the strong indicators of the heart disease in pregnancy renal changes in pregnancy there is an increase in gfr increase in renal blood flow dilatation of the ureters they are all true then what are the most reliable test for the placenta previa increta increta means it has penetrated into the wall of the myometrium which can only be made out by doing the mri is what you need to remember laparoscopy is a definitive method to evaluate endometriosis in menopause fsh levels increase because gonad is not producing any estrogen so low estrogen no inhibition on the pituitary that is the reason there is an increased fsh lh in the menopause women and then kefili can be diagnosed at least by 10 weeks using the ultrasound clinically what you assess is called diagonal conjugate you put a finger and it touches the tip and you will take the calculation so that is diagonal conjugate 12 cm diagonal 10.5 is opsidic 11 cm is a true conjugate and the one who does not know this will get a 10000 rank be very sure so whenever the fetus is passing this is how the obstetrical conjugate diagonal conjugate anatomical true conjugate and the ap obstetric diameter of outlet you need to have an idea rotational forceps with a sliding log cleland diabetic mother the baby will have polycythemia hypoglycemia hypoglycemia hypocalcemia hypomagnesemia in hypertensive women ergometrin is contraindicated prolactin secreted by the pituitary helps in breast milk secretion in radiotherapy we use x rays gamma rays beta rays not alpha rays radioactive phosphorus it emits beta rays so hydrogen 3 tritium carbon 14 phosphorus 32 sulfur 35 they all typically release the beta particles longest half life is there for uranium Uranium 238 has the longest half life of 4.5 billion years, man. And radon 222 has the shortest, only 3.8 days, which is least affected by the radiation. Cartilage is least affected. Propofol, it is also called milk of magnesia. It will be a white fluid. That's the reason it's also called milk of amnesia. Milk of amnesia, बोलते हैं प्रोपोफॉल को. It is used commonly in the intensive care unit sedation protocols. We use the propofol, but propofol is intravenous. Desflurane. I think this is a very easy question. So you should know that. Desflurane is inhalation. If you want to correct only dehydration, then normal saline. Most children with obstructive sleep apnea, they will all benefit with adenotonsillectomy. Ha! This is the cheapest solution: measles, like vaccine. meningococcal meningitis 5 to 7 days don't forget doctor at least at least kam se kam bol raha hu 
five mcqs five mcqs will be from from fill up the blank from which topic at least five questions will be from paper out ho raha hai batao 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 covid नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन में आज के रात मैं बोल रहा हूं पांच क्वेश्चन आएगा कोविड जो भी आंसर करेगा उसको बनाएंगे हम नीट पी जी रत्ना ठीक है सो वन अबाउट द वायरस वन अबाउट द वैक्सीन वन अबाउट द हाइपोक्सिया एंड द मेडिकल कॉम्प्लिकेशंस लीडिंग टू मोर्टैलिटी इन कोविड Minimum three to five examination is not for two hundred questions. It is only for one ninety five because five questions compulsory COVID chaega. Kahan se leloge? Kaise padoge? Kya padoge? Aapke hath mein hai jahan pe. Right? Now optimum duration of treatment for meningococcal meningitis is five to seven days. The acid fastness of the TB is because of the mycolic acid. In good subset of population, tuberculin testing five mm or more also is considered to be positive. If there is any close contact with a known suspected case of TB, then even five mm is significant. So HIV infected people, recent contacts of a TB case, patients who on chest radiograph have a fibrotic changes. Five mm is considered positive, and patients who are organotransplanted and immunosuppressed. The primary focus of the congenital TB is not the spleen, not the lung, not the liver. Who knows? He will answer that. In the exam hall, if he is guessing, he will not get it. He will not get it. So, doctor, we all enjoy it. Hundred questions. Kasak, we finish. All energy, doctor. Full energy. Still, you have thirty days time. Oh my God! Thirty days. You can marry. You can go to honeymoon. You can produce a couple of children. Oh, but you can English medium be ja sakte, ha? So, a big dream to see. You have to see a big dream. You as an interventional cardiologist taking out your Mercedes E class, right? Driving and you have the MLA or MP lying down and you doing the emergency intervention. Wow! And the governor comes for a knee transplantation tomorrow. You are the orthopedic surgeon. Hallucinate all those dreams while you go to sleep, doctor. Don't say, "Oh my God, I did not read this much." Still, there is that much to read. That much and this much will always be left in life, doctor. But what matters is, after you wake up, you should think and bother before you sleep. But end of the day, you should be contented. Within my disposal, God, given the energy, given the opportunity, I am able to read this much. After all, there is not that much to prepare for entrance. This much only. This much only. Honestly speaking. 20 years i have seen 2 lakh medical students those who read less those who read focused those who are able to get the time to do the revision those who have opened the question paper of the examiner with an anticipation to attack rather than taken for a surprise they are the winners in the tomorrow sneak peek good luck i am always there with you to hold your hand and take you to that counseling room where you will be taking your dream branch Until then, I'm every day with you. Thank you very much, and we'll all see you tomorrow at evening, 6 p.m. Good night.